Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn how to calculate the inverter delay. Okay, if you are taking an NMOS inverter in cascade, suppose two inverters are there in cascade, how to calculate the overall time delay between input and output. So coming to these inverters, there are two types of inverters in this um, VLSI subject so far, whatever we have seen, like NMOS inverter and CMOS inverter. Especially this video deals you about the calculation of time delay for the cascaded network of NMOS inverters. Okay. So now inverter delay. In the previous video, I have explained you about the delay unit tau. Tau is equal to 1 RS into 1 square CG. 1 RS into 1 square CG. That means we can simply write tau is equal to RS into square CG. Okay, wherever you have this RS into square CG, you can simply substitute with tau. This is the meaning of this expression. Okay, multiplication of resistance, heat resistance into capacitance that gives you the time constant or nothing but a delay. Okay, now let us see how long this time delay can be helpful as to help us to determine the calculation of inverter delays. Now, before going into this inverters, cascaded inverters, let us recall NMOS inverter properties. NMOS inverter properties. See, what do you mean by NMOS inverter? NMOS inverter is having pull up to pull down ratio NMOS inverter is having pull up to pull down ratio like a minimum of 4 is to 1. This definitely we should follow when we are going to calculate any other parameters using this NMOS inverter. This is the first thing we need to remember. Okay. So pull up transistor is a pull up transistor is a depletion mode transistor depletion mode transistor and pull down transistor pull down transistor is enhancement mode transistor enhancement mode transistor okay so now let us see when the two inverters are cascaded so this is cascaded n mos inverters cascaded n mos inverters See the first NMOS inverter and second NMOS inverter that 4 is to 1 is referring that it is having a pull up to pull down ratio of 4 is to 1. That means ZPU by ZPD. This is the meaning of this one is ZPU by ZPD. Here also it is the meaning of ZPU by ZPD. That means pull up to pull down ratio that means individually Z in the pull up is having 4 and Z PD in the pull down is having 1. Okay, now let us just see how that uh, we can separate them. Okay, before going to that, what the complete uh, diagram shows input we are giving directly it's from 0 to 1 immediate transition, but however, definitely there will be a delay in the output if you will get a output like this. Okay, there exists some time gap between the input and output. And now, if you see the time delay in the first inverter, it is showing that it is having a time delay of 1 tau. And in the second transistor, we are assuming that it is having second inverter, it, uh, it is shown that the time delay is like 4 times the normal tau. 4 times the tau, nothing but 4 RS into square CG. So, overall time delay when two cascaded inverters are considered that overall time delay is equal to 5 times tau, 1 tau plus 
4 tau it is equal to 5 tau okay now let us consider what internally that n mass inverter has two n mass inverters are cascaded now just uh, separate them to understand in a better way So as the first or pull up transistor is a depletion mode transistor, it is the channel shown over here and this is the folded back plus VDD depletion mode transistor, enhancement mode transistor and this is the input. Now the output of this one is given to another inverter of same type it is also a depletion mode transistor this depletion mode transistor is no way related to the input okay depletion mode transistor is no way related to the input input is applied only to the enhancement mode transistor enhancement mode transistor okay now assume that the z value of this pull up transistor as 4 is to 1 that means length here it is 4 and width is equal to 1 time and now here z is equal to 1 is to 1 this is what we have taken z p u by z p d z p u is equal to 4 ZPD itself is 1. Okay. ZPU is 4 means Z is equal to 4 is to 1 in that part uh, pull up device. So that's why it is 4. And for the pull down, it is 1 is to 1. So overall, you can say it is 4 is to 1 by 1 is to 1, it is equal to 4 is to 1. Here also same. Z is equal to 4 is to 1. Here it is 1 is to 1. Okay. Hope you understand now. Let us assume a situation when V in is equal to 1. What is the input you have given from 0 to 1 transition? Okay, in the circuit, previous page is that circuit is having 0 to 1 transition at the input. That means input is changed to 1. Input is changed to 1. When input is equal to 1, what about this enhancement mode transistor? So, for the first inverter we are calculating inverter 1, inverter 2, okay, inverter 1. So, consider the case when input is equal to 1, what about, what about the enhancement mode transistor? Enhancement mode transistor comes into on state, enhancement mode will come into on state. What about the depletion mode transistor? Depletion mode even though it is in on state, it is there when the enhancement mode transistor is in off state, but when it is in on state, it will be quite calm. Okay, so when this enhancement mode transistor is in on state, what happens? What happens? Consider a, uh, I will write with red color. Consider a capacitance at the input existed from gate to See here gate to source this is the source terminal gate to source we are having a capacitance like a square cg which is a virtual component existed at the gate of any transistor and internally we are having a on resistance over here now so what is the time delay of this first one so time delay of this first transistor it is tau is equal to tau is equal to 1 rs into 1 square cg okay that rs is the that rs is the input of this one uh, the internal resistance of this one rs why it is 1 because z is equal to 1 see here z is equal to 1 by 1 is nothing but 1 hope you understand now 
So that is equal to RS into square CG. How we can write the tau 1, which is the inverted delay of the first one. So tau 1 is equal to this one. Simply we can write it as tau. Tau 1 is equal to 1 tau. Tau 1 is equal to 1 tau. Consider inverter 2 case. See here, when input is equal to 1, this transistor comes into one state, capacitor simply discharges, capacitor discharges and output goes to 0. So, when input is equal to 0 for this type of enhancement, enhancement mode transistor in the inverter 2, enhancement mode transistor comes into off state so that the depletion mode transistor will be now in action. Okay, as this transistor is in action, the internal resistance on resistance of that particular transistor needs to be calculated and multiplication of this one should be done with the CG, square CG which is existed at the output. Why it is existed? Because this square CG comes with the input of the following succeeding stages. Okay, so now Now, so when V in is equal to 0 volts, see input here the output of this one is logic 0 and this logic 0 will be applied to this enhancement mode transistor, then it is an offset. Then enhancement mode transistor, enhancement mode transistor. is in off state then depletion mode comes into action depletion mode transistor comes into action so v in is equal to 0 volts ok so what about the delay now tau 2 which is the time delay of the second inverter tau 2 is equal to z into rs which is the on resistance into 1 square cg ok what is the value of z now it is 4 4 rs into 1 square cg that is equal to 4 times rs into square cg we can write it as 4 times tau tau 2 so how can we calculate now See here, the first inverter is having a time delay of 1 tau and second inverter is having a time delay of 4 tau because of the uh, switching of the transistors. It may be altered also. Suppose if you are taking 1 to 0 transition, then 4 tau will be coming from the first inverter and uh, yeah, uh, suppose if it is having the input 1 for the second inverter, then it will be 1 tau from the second inverter whatever it is 1 tau or 4 tau that will be altered depending on the switching on and off of the transistors so finally the overall time delay between these two overall time delay from here to here it is 5 tau overall time delay is 5 tau ok so therefore the total time delay tau is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 that is equal to 1 tau plus 4 tau 1 plus 4 into tau that means it is 5 tau tau overall time tau for inverter I am writing it as tau for inverter ok See, from this notation, we can write <coughs> tau inverter is equal to 1 plus ZPU by ZPD into tau. This is what the generalized notation for the NMOS inverter time delay. And mass inverter time delay. If it is a 4 is to 1 transistor, it becomes a 5 tau. If it is a 10 is to 1 transistor, it becomes 11 tau. So, whatever may be the ZPU by ZPD, that simply substituted here to get the inverter overall time delay. Okay, this is what the 
inverter delays how the delay concept can be applied to the mass inverters okay thank you